Disney Frozen Five Minute Stories Disney Frozen Five Minute Stories Disney Frozen Across the Sea Anna and Elsa were going on a trip to visit some neighboring kingdoms. As they climbed aboard the ship, the captain scurried over. Your Majesty, he said to Elsa, I don't think we'll make it to our first stop on time, not with waters this still. Don't worry, Anna said, taking the wheel. We've got it covered, Elsa said, creating a little snow flurry to push them along. Soon the ship arrived at its first port, the kingdom of Zarya. Welcome, Queen Elsa and Princess Anna, King Stebor called in a booming voice. We cannot wait to show you our kingdom, Queen Renalia added. First, the king and queen of Zarya invited the sisters to lunch, where Anna and Elsa enjoyed tasty new foods. Then the queen took Anna and Elsa on a tour of her prized gardens. The sisters had never seen so many amazing flowers. That night, the girls were treated to a grand festival. We've heard so much about your special talents, Queen Renalia said to Elsa. Won't you show us some of your magic? Suddenly, Elsa felt very shy. She nodded at the dance floor. Would you like to join the dancing, your majesties? She asked, changing the subject. That looks like fun. The next stop on Anna and Elsa's tour was a kingdom called Chato. The sisters met Chato's ruler, Queen Calissa, in front of her impressive palace. Thank you for having us, your majesty, Elsa said. Of course, the queen responded. I am very happy you are both here. Queen Calissa first took the sisters on a walk through the kingdom's rainforest, where they saw many unique animals. Anna was particularly fond of some bashful, furry creatures. Why, hello there, she said, waving at the animals. After their walk, the queen led Anna and Elsa into an enormous gallery. Chato was known for its striking art and relics. As Anna admired Chato's treasures, Elsa spoke with the queen. These are beautiful, she said. I'm so glad you think so, Queen Calissa replied. Would you like to add a sculpture to our collection? Suddenly, Elsa noticed a block of ice under a spotlight, ready to be carved. Once again, she felt a wave of shyness. Noticing her sister's discomfort, Anna jumped in. Um, sure! Ice sculptures are actually my specialty! Later, as they got off their ship 
in the next kingdom. Anna asked Elsa why she didn't want to show off her powers. I guess I just got nervous, Elsa admitted. Anna was about to reply when she spotted someone surprising, the Duke of Weasleton. What are you doing here? Anna asked. The sisters had purposefully avoided Weaselton on their tour. Their final stop was the kingdom of Vacreta, far from the Duke's home. The Duke smoothed his coat. I am visiting my mother's cousin's wife's nephew, if you must know. Although I wish I weren't, if I were you, I would turn my ship around right now. The sisters looked at each other. The Duke sighed. Vacreta is having the hottest summer in years. Of course, you wouldn't care about that. As the sisters followed the duke into the village, they noticed Vacredans sprawled out, sweaty and tired. Who? Anna remarked. For once, Elsa didn't feel shy. She knew she had to do something to cool the people down. She quickly conjured some snow clouds much to the delight of the villagers. It's working, the duke cried in surprise. Elsa started making frosted mugs out of ice. Why don't you get us some lemonade, she asked. Soon, Vacreta was a frozen wonderland. The citizens ice skated and built beautiful snow castles. I suppose a thank you is in order, the Duke said. I frankly don't know where to begin. Well, you could grab a board, Elsa suggested, winking at Anna. The Duke turned red and started sputtering. A duke would never. It isn't. It's okay. We'll show you how it's done. Anna called as she and Elsa grabbed some planks and slid down a hill. A few hours later, it was time for Anna and Elsa to return to Arundel. They waved to their new friends from the ship. Did you have a good trip? Anna asked her sister. I did, Elsa replied as she created an icy blast of snow to direct them homeward. I'd say it was the best royal tour ever. Until next time, that is.